Welcoming Statch to the Hall of Fame is his teammate Tommy Heinsohn from the class of 1986. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Satch Sanders. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow Stabridgians. Hey, thanks for that round of applause. It was great. You know, Tom Heinsohn's passing ability has always been in question, but I really like the way he passed me off just then. It was nice. <laughs> Very nice, huh? Okay. To the Hall of Fame class and to all of the award winners of 2011, my congratulations to you. You know, all of you have heard the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I'm certainly the result of such village raising. I was blessed with great parents, family members, and their adult friends and school teachers. All of them aggressively taught discipline, respect, and ethics while utilizing the non-sparing of the rod. Okay. The back of the hand, the strap. That kind of education helped me to appreciate a fantastic sister, my sister Dorothy, who would supplement my allowance from her paycheck. I'm telling you, that's, that was a serious sister. <laughs> that schooling helped me to have many things to share with, with my daughter, Simone and my blended family with Dale and Braun. Where are they? Roti back here? Hey. Uh, nieces, nephews, Kenny and Julie, okay? and my quasi-daughter, Michelle. However, it was the lessons learned from watching my mother and father that helped me to, to truly understand and appreciate uh, my wife, Virginia, who's in full charge of the marriage. Okay? Concerning the game, it was the push from Coach Hartman at Cooper Junior High School that really started the ball bouncing. College-age players like Bernard, Cecil, and Lefty in the schoolyard at 184 helped my game, but they also directed me to the academic school, Seward Park High School on the Lower East Side. Uh, I don't want to talk about my counselors at uh, Cooper Junior High, okay? That was another story. Legendary Harlem uh, Renaissance players like Pop Gates, John Isaacs, and Charlie Isles, uh, they applied some very harsh criticisms that forced young players to either play better or stay in the church leagues. Okay? Strong team play, directions from patrolman Claude Cargill and Sonny Woods. Now, I don't want you to think these officers uh, were in my life because I had some problems. They were coaching with the Police Athletic League, okay? Playing in the Holcomb Rucker League and having the opportunity to play against the people from Baker League and crushing those Brooklyn people. Ah. <laughs> ah. Those were the days, okay? But it was the envy of my New York University teammate, Cal Ramsey, and his skills that made me try to be better every single time I went out to play. It was the Globetrotters, like Carl Green, the professional Eastern League players, like Jack DeFaris and Buddy Thompson, that took my game to certainly another level and told me very clearly that I would have a shot at pro ball. It was watching former Knickerbocker Mel Hutchins guarding Sharman, Bill Sharman, Celtic, former shooter, that made me really begin to think about playing serious defense. I don't know many of you have ever seen Mel Hutchinson, probably not many, not enough gray hairs in the room, but he was really smooth on the D, really loved him. The opportunity to play with the Boston Celtics and get to know a fantastic group of players and outstanding front office people was a highlight, certainly, of my career. Attending and playing at the great university, NYU, 
fantastic time. Working at fine institutions like Harvard and Northeastern University with the Center for the Study of Sport, Richard Lapchick. Functioning at fantastic National Basketball Association. Fantastic certainly is the word. But those early morning meetings with David Stern, and there's no question about his keen insight and genius in hiring me. No doubt. No doubt about it. All of that broadened my interest and caused me even now to, to wonder, you know, really, what's next? Allow me to quote a former hard-hitting, excuse me, hard-playing 76 cigar, Al Adams. He once said, Satch, when you're speaking publicly, whatever you do, remember the three Bs. Be brief, brother. And with that in mind, <laughs> With that in mind, I'll say thank you to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame leadership and staff, as well as the committees for their continuing fine effort and broadening selectivity. Ladies and gentlemen, create your own good luck, stay well, and for those of you who are not feeling well, get better, take good care. Thank you.